Okay guys, I know it's been a while before I did a ground floor update of my ground floor portfolio. Ground floor, you can check the suggested videos if you want more details, but it allows you to buy loans for people who want who enter real estate. So you're not owning the actual property, but you're just providing a loan whether they want to do renovations or anything of that nature. But like I said, if you want to see a more in-depth video, just check the suggested videos, but I'm going to give you an update. So I actually have two separate portfolios. One is the auto invest, which is kind of like a fund that you kind of put it in and they pick the loans for you. Um, and the other one is the ones where you hand pick yourself. So this is the auto one. Um, as of now, I have, as far as the total ground floor portfolio, 2,780. But for the auto, oops, let me switch this. Okay, so the money at work for my regular one is 2,120, and the one for the auto is 645 um, particular dollars for that one. Now, if you want to, to see a snapshot altogether, um, it doesn't actually show for this one, but for the auto one, it shows, you know, money at work, 645. $645, accrued interest $15.20, um, cash on hand $0.20, cents, so that would be a total six, $660.40. $660 um, principal invested $156, interest earned $3.46 in the uh, annualized return. Now, like I said, with these annualized returns, I would take it with a grain of salt, but let's dig deep into the bigger portfolio first and we definitely have some interesting things we want to talk about so if we click on investing activities you know it gives us a uh, more in-depth so as we can see cash on hand zero dollars all the money's at work meaning actually provide it in the particular loans which is 2120 um, as far as the investments 54 invested 2120 expected rate 11 percent and the repayment the amount of all together was 112 loans and the amount of invested four thousand dollars and 20 cents expected rate um 10.6 um, percent so a lot of times what i've done is the money that i've that i've gotten paid i just kind of reinvested it back all right so for the money at work amount invested to 2120 and expected earnings is $208.42 and I believe oh we didn't go over this as far as the repayment amount it was $4,020 and the net earnings was $200.37 and if you can scroll down you can see all of mines is in type C um, and as far as the number of loans so the grade the more higher the grade the more conservative um, the the lower the grade the more risky but the higher um, particular return so C's is about like 11 percent if you want to see you know what the rates was you can end up seeing C's is now like 12 some of them is 13 the D's is 11.5 so they kind of vary but generally speaking um, the lower the the higher the letter the lower the particular term but the lower also the risk the high, the lower the level I mean the lower the level the particularly the higher the amount that you can earn but it's more risky all right so let's go back to uh, the investing activities so we covered all of this and I wanted to talk about this one because this is, like I said, I try to be transparent and show the good things as well as the bad things about the particular platform. So if you look here, interesting, as um, far as performing, um, expected to repay on time. And by the way, if you want to, to know the expected rate and stuff, make sure you check my previous videos where I go over um, the the um, returns and how they can kind of be different than what you expected a lot of times if you've never used this platform you may be confused why your returns are so low or why doesn't the money make sense so make sure you definitely check my older videos because I go in depth of exactly how they calculate it and stuff like that so definitely make sure you check that out 
So for the extended, these were working out agreements in place or in progress and defaults pending workout. So the first thing I want to jump into is I know you gotta see the default. This is very concerning from an investor perspective. Um, pending workout, they don't necessarily give major details on that, but if you can see the 21 loans right there, and that's 39, 39.2% of the portfolio, which is never something you wanna see. 39 is in default. Um, and even 25 is in extended. So to me, that's a very, you know, high percentage that's going in default and um, extended. In the performing, the ones expected on time is only eight. So to me, as an investor, I would be very um, concerned, not so much maybe for the extended ones, but more for the default ones. I would have liked to see defaults probably less than 10%, honestly, but they're um, not. Now, how the default ones will work, I was going to, I end up giving them a call. They haven't gave me a call back, but I would imagine um, it's not something that you, um, it, like I said, it says pending workout. Now, I have have seen defaults in the past, and I'll show you. Um, a lot of times what will happen is you'll get back a, some of the from the six default loans that I had before. Um, you got the money back, but it was like a maybe like a negative return. You got the most of the money you initially invested, but you lost a little bit less than that. So, um, I, but I'll show you guys what I mean. And this is um, where we are. I don't want to get off topic too far, but. Like I said, I already went over that 54 loans and $2,120 invested, of course, the expected rate. But like I said, I'm, I am very concerned about, more so concerned about the defaults than the extended. So they, they extended as long as they pay that on time, I'm not really that concerned about. But the default to me, nonetheless, I'm under, misunderstanding it, that's kind of very concerning. Defaults. Are very high I would have liked if I've seen defaults 8 and performing 21 then I'll be kind of cool with that all right um, plus you also got to think about it from a risk perspective okay with 10% what are some other investments that you can particularly get you don't have to worry about loans particularly getting defaulted because that's to me that's high risk right there um, but all right and these are all the individual particular um, loans amount these were each of ones, you know, have their own particular loan rate of return and um, after pair value versus all of that um, stuff. For each of the particular loans, they uh, they give you that. And as you can see, um, so you can, you know, let you see um, the performance, the extended ones, the ones that's um, defaulted, you'll probably end up seeing, yeah, the ones that's like this one, defaulted, you can see all of those as well. Alright, so the next thing we can do as far as um, investment notes, we don't have any right there, uh, the repayment amount. And this is what I was going to show you before that it shows performed extended default. So from the default ones, it was six of them invested $110 percentage 2.7. It was very relatively low compared to the rest of them. Well, I wasn't that concerned. They expected 9.3 um, actual rate. Um, of course, for the default, you know, it's going to be um you know, lower course 3.3 and that earnings five dollars and seventy cents. For the extended ones, um, thirty four percent was extended on the amount one thousand three hundred and eighty, so thirty four percent was extended. Actual rate ten dollars mm, ten point six percent a little higher, one hundred thirty four dollars and twenty two cents. Now perform sixty four invested two thousand five hundred thirty sixty two percent of that expected rate ten point seven and actual rate ten point four percent. Net earnings 97.9 cents. I also wanted to let you know a lot of times um, if they pay off the loan, you know, earlier year percentages will be you know a lot less. And I'm also curious to see as far as 
the I believe as far as the returns, they're only calculating the ones that was actually paid off. So the ones that wasn't paid off or default, I'm pretty sure they're not counting that. So they only count in the ones that actually was paid off. So to me, that's kind of one of the things where you kind of got to understand where, okay, you see the expected rate, but I don't, I'm pretty sure they're not counting the ones that wasn't, you know, getting paid back or the ones that's deferred. So that can kind of screw the actual annual returns. Um, but of course, that's kind of a thing where it'd be kind of under the, um, it'd be very difficult to kind of be you had to kind of more so manually do it than kind of trust them um but i just wanted to be make that clear um if you want to see a more like uh, details for each individual one they have the investment details like for this one you have um like i said uh the term 15 month the actual term 18.5 18 so this one was extended of course so as you can see, twenty dollars or four dollars there off of that twenty dollars, which the actual one, twenty-four dollars, and ten dollars, two dollars five cents, twelve dollars and five cents altogether, which gave me the actual rate. Um, for one of the default ones, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that one. Um, this is what it'll look like. So it's like uh, amount invested, twenty dollars. Earnings minus three dollars and twenty six cents of the actual return, so sixteen dollars and seventy four cents. So it looks like on the, um, oops, it looks like on the defaulted ones you do get some of your money back. It just would be like a negative return. I'll also show you another one, um, where uh, see, let me see if I can find one. Okay, so here's another one that says default. Let me see. Oh, this one they actually paid it back. But um, yeah. So I just kind of wanted to um, show you that, and of course they have all the you know transactions and stuff of that nature. But let's quickly go over the auto account as well. I already kind of went over that. So I mean, um, but let's look at the investment details. Um, there for the audio account so let's see what happened here okay so auto account let's see click this okay so okay this is so this is appears all that it shows for the auto account it shows the for each particular date which properties you know that they have and you can kind of click on it and stuff like that for the auto one um, I'll keep track of both of them most of the time I'm gonna put a lot more in the auto just to see how that uh, one particular goes and it looks like for the auto that's kind of pretty much all they particularly show you if you wanted to um, it's kind of just kind of group like like that as a bundle um but yeah guys so that's particularly it let me know in the comments good and bad about ground floor I know a lot of people has expressed a lot of their loans has been defaulted now um, before I couldn't see it that much but now as you can see in the videos it's clearly a lot of default things so I've, I have been reading the comments and I would definitely say that defaults the amount of default loans is very concerning 34% um, so that's why I like things on this platform that's not particularly good um, in my personal opinion, I will call them and then the next video I'll, I'll tell you what they say and you know think of that things of that nature, but Hey guys. Yeah, so make sure you drop think your experience or ground floor in the comments um, But that concludes this video if you haven't already make sure you hit the like button if you new, make sure you subscribe to the channel um, out